You know what a shit barometer is, Bob? Oh? Huh? Measures the shit pressure in the air. You can feel it. Listen, Bobs. Hear that? The sounds of the whispering winds of shit. Can you hear it? No, I don't hear anything. Oh, but you will, my sorry little friend, when the old shit barometer rises and you'll feel it too. Your ears will implode from the shit pressure. You were warned, Bubs. But you picked the wrong side. Beware, my friend. Shit winds are a coming. I better mentally prepare myself for what's gonna come, because if you critique any popular artist on the internet, you're sure to get plenty of fans who hate on you for questioning their overlord. Due to popular demand, I'm finally going to make another art analysis video. This one focusing on popular artist Vivzy Pop. If you don't know who she is, here's a short summary. Vivzy Pop, aka Vivian Medrano, sorry for that, I, I just had to pronounce it that way, is an artist and an animator who at the moment is working on a pilot for her series Has Been Hotel. She as well had a webcomic called Zoophobia, which abruptly ended somewhere in 2016. Withholding my personal opinions on her for the sake of this intro, that's all there is to say on her. Now, before we start, I just want you all to know that I'm not here to talk about her as a person. I am here to pick apart her style. A fair warning, I have a lot of strong opinions on this woman's artwork, and it might upset some of you. So if you'd rather not hear my critiques, consider this your opportunity to leave now. No? Well, without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so first things first, let's start with what I do like about her artwork. Viv has a talent for making eye-catching designs and making her drawings vibrant. Her expressions are for the most part on point and her backgrounds, especially ones depicting nature, are impressive. When she puts in the time and effort, her drawings turn out beautifully. Unfortunately, that's everything positive I have to say on her art style. Let's move into the issues I have. I'll begin with the biggest problem, the anatomy. Let's not sugarcoat it, plenty of her images have broken anatomy. From the years that I've followed her, I'm pretty sure I've figured out what she usually messes up. There's broken shoulders, that more often than not, look like they're popping out of their sockets or just seem that they're too high up to be considered anatomically correct. She often draws the hands on her characters backwards or completely forgets to draw their thumbs. Her limb proportions are usually uneven, sometimes an arm or leg being thicker or longer than the other, making it extremely distracting in my opinion and hard to unsee. However, I think that her biggest anatomy flaw has got to be her female character's floating boobs. Here's how I'll explain it. Have you ever watched an anime that had some ridiculous boob physics and thought, why are they moving like that? The boobs don't work that way. Yeah, well, that's how I feel when I look at the floating boobs in her artwork. I really don't understand why she keeps repeating this obvious mistake over and over, as sometimes she's able to pull it off pretty well. Nope. Sometimes. Another big issue with Viv's art style is inconsistency. What I mean with this is that she sets her own rules only to later break them. For example, her character JJ. Now, you probably never heard of JJ. She's totally not popular and isn't saturated at all. Also, I wouldn't say that her personality is as interesting as a water bottle, but hey, you didn't hear that from me! All jokes aside, this character is cursed with plenty of inconsistencies and constantly is drawn off model. Here are plenty of images of her and the obvious changes with each piece are the size of her limbs, her ears, and her tail. Sure, you can argue that she's still the same character. But really, is it so hard to draw her ears and tail the same length? No, it's not that hard to stay on model. And when it's apparent enough that it becomes a distraction, you know you're doing something wrong. Now this is a short point, but I'll just get it out of the way real quick. Composition. That's something that she seems to struggle with. Don't get me wrong, she does have moments where she does this correctly, but if you look at this right here, you can see based on where this girl is placed, that wagon behind her must be very small, and that cactus in the distance must be huge. At first glance, it's an overall visually appealing piece. I just wish everything was positioned correctly. And finally, I want to talk about her choice in color. Yes, I did mention earlier that her artwork is extremely vibrant. When done correctly, it looks amazing. However, lots of times, the colors that she uses in her drawings are either too bright and end up straining your eyes, or downgraded to be more dull and look boring. 
Now you might say, Ozzy, you're just being picky. Well, that's not really the case here. The thing I'm trying to get at is that she doesn't seem to know how to balance her colors. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Also, I'm sure that some of you are waiting for me to say it, so I'll just say it. Viv, if you ever watch this, you use too much pink and yellow. Now, shh, shh, shh. I know, I know, it's not a legit criticism, and I know you've complained about how people pointed out before, but consider this. Maybe they have a point. So, what did we learn today now, children? I learned that character references don't matter, color theory doesn't matter, and anime was right with titty physics. Now, I'm gonna guess that some of you are thinking, well, that's her style, you can't judge it, you can't judge her style! Ha! That is where you're wrong. Try to get this through your skulls. Missing limbs and mistakes are not an art style. If it was, every single one of her characters would have broken shoulders or etc. But they don't. So clearly, they are mistakes. Again, making this clear. It's not about her art style. Understood? I hope so. I don't want to have to deal with it's her style comments. As for Vizzy Pop herself, as hard as it is to believe, I still enjoy her stuff. However, I do wish that she'd be more open to criticism and that her fans wouldn't defend her like if she was a child. Believe me, I've had some of the worst and weirdest of encounters. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, that'll be all from me. Thank you so much for the sudden growth in subscriber count. I really appreciate it. Gosh bless, and uh, see you next time, I guess. Also, some of you guys like Tumblr Coon. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs>